Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome to all of you all. And thank you so much for being here for this very special and interesting evening that we get into a symposium on colorectal oncology. So the need of healthcare today is to look at various aspects on how do we tackle oncology, what should be our approach to rid community or treat community of its oncology burden. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming here. And uh, thank you for sharing these uh, and participating in this, uh, in this thought process of making cancer care not only accessible but also affordable to the vast millions that are there in our country. I would specifically thank all the eminent panelists who have spared their time today and who have come here in order to help us do that. Uh, without much ado, I would like to first uh, inv invite our first panelist on stage, Padmashri Professor Dr. Rajendra Badwe. Ladies and gentlemen, we rarely get this opportunity to listen to the words of a great and knowledgeable speaker. for sparing your valuable time and I would I must mention here that he agreed to this within a very short notice we as lay people think of celebrities as always people who keep people waiting delaying programs but it is really very very appreciable of you to have come absolutely on time and on a short notice just because he believes in the cause I would request Mrs. Rinku Mavani marketing head Fotis Mulun to welcome Mr. Ashmi with a bouquet of flowers. Last but not the least. <laughs> in India, and which is the biggest achievement of this country. There are four other countries that come in line, the, the famous BRIC countries, where the economy is on the rise, whether it's Brazil, Russia, or China. And India is one of those four countries. And cancer incidence in all these three countries, other than India, it's risen by anywhere from 12 to 24 percent. Whereas that in India has been a straight line. The incidence has remained constant. Then why is the perception that it is more? And the perception is more because of two reasons. One is urbanization does increase the incidence of cancer the numbers, the absolute numbers increase. And Actually, if you see the cancer is increasing in numbers, if you see it was about say 10 years ago in India it was say 8 lakhs, now it is say 1.2 new cases coming up. That means it is increasing, no doubt about that. And, but in Mumbai we always get two types of cases, people who are staying in Mumbai and people coming from outside, and their outside load is tremendous. Now in municipal hospitals, if you see, their hands are studied with many other things, from say dengue to uh, lepto to even any other benign diseases. But still, a department like say general surgery or our GI surgery, many other departments, so most 30% of patients will have cancers. And what Dr. Rajan said is absolutely true. We are now seeing many patients which are curable kind of a thing. I mean, once upon a time, if somebody has a leukemia, 
we used to say, okay, he's gone. It's today it is not so. A young child of leukemia can have almost reasonably 90% cure in many cases. So I think we are changing the type of patients coming to us. So even public hospitals also are changing towards. And as I said, 30% of our load is cancer load. Yes. And that is what uh, municipal hospitals cope up. Uh, before, I, I know you have gone through a personal journey of which had its uh, with, with cancer, with this brush with cancer and the book, yes. which was so nicely written. What, what is now the difference you observe when you were not, you know, when cancer was something distant and now when it is something when you have experienced personally? Uh, well, first of all, good evening everyone here. Thank you so much for inviting me. Um, you know, first of all, I want to, you know, for people who have not read the book uh, or don't know about um, the, my, my son's cancer. Uh, I'll give you a bit of a lowdown on what happened in 2014. Um, my son was at that time uh, three years, uh, ten months, and he was, uh, he was diagnosed with uh, a condition called Wilms tumor. It's a very rare case of kidney cancer. It happens to a very small percentage of kids worldwide. And my son happened to be the part of the unfortunate percentage of kids. Um, this uh, discovery of this cancer, uh, the first uh, very bizarre symptoms were over a, a very usual brunch at uh, a five-star restaurant in Mumbai when we had come back from uh, um, a New Year trip in January. And uh, there was no accompanying fever, there was no vomiting, there was no discomfort that my son had. He was extremely ill. He's a very, very positive, very, very energetic kid. And uh, that day he happened to pass blood uh, uh, in his urine. And we as parents obviously freaked out. Uh, we took him to uh, the nearest hospital. That's where we all get treated. That's in Khar Hinduja. And uh, his pediatrician, Dr. Ajit there, uh, did the tests. And we found uh, a nine centimeter tumor that was growing on top of his left kidney. And uh, you know, for any parent, <coughs> and I speak for ourselves, <coughs> for me and my wife, uh, when we heard the news, um, it's like the, the ground beneath our feet had been ripped off. Um, cancer, the perception of cancer uh, for a layperson like me, and I consider myself as a layperson because with education, with you know, even staying in Mumbai, you've, you've, had, you've heard of people get cancer, but you don't actually go to the depths of it unless you have someone close to you uh, diagnosed with the disease. Uh, my perception of cancer was this monster that is going to take my son's life uh, because of a lot of things, you know, maybe the way it's been projected in the media, maybe the way a lot of just the general vibe of what cancer has done worldwide. It has overtaken heart disease over the past decade. It's very prevalent uh, in our country, in uh, rural and in because of urbanization in most of the places. And you're constantly hearing about deaths related to cancer. And that was my, you know, prime fear at that point of time that this is going to take my son's life. To pursue it, you have terms that you are constantly being thrown towards you, which is five years survival. Your fight doesn't end after your chemotherapy or radiation. It is another psychological problem to go through for five years. We're still dealing with it. My son is on two and a half years now, which is he's he's out the red right now. But uh, there are a lot of factors uh, with cancer that actually add up uh, the fear syndrome that we all have when we hear about cancer. So Manoj, I think we heard the news, obviously it was the, the worst part. And post that, every day was like a new hurdle. Uh, there was post that the surgery, which we had, which was the, the four longest hours of our lives. Uh, having uh, the tumor removed, and we we lost the kidney also because that's generally how you deal with uh, a case where it is nine centimeters. And post that, there was the pathology report coming in, which took us you know which took five to seven days, which is again five long days of my life because then you know there's the unfavorable and favorable uh, histology, there's the staging which was all very new to us. Thankfully, he was on the second stage, which made uh, the, the treatment and the prognosis much better. Um, post that, we uh, flew our son to Canada, uh, to Toronto, 
to sick kids. Uh, it's one of the top, uh, top pediatric hospitals. And there was a, one of the main reasons that we did this is because of we were trying to attend apart from the physical aspect and the medical intervention. Uh, there's a psychological impact that all this has on us as a family unit and on our son. And we didn't want him to change in any way. That emotionally scars a kid. It definitely has emotionally scarred us. <laughs> Kids can't talk about it. But uh, that's something that we, I guess, lack uh, in our country, is the dealing with the psychological uh, aspect of cancer. Talking about it, parents talking about it. Um, trying to make the kid understand what the issue at hand is. Because it's extremely complex. Um, when my son was flown in, you know, obviously there was great care in, in, in Hinduja and he got the best treatment there. But there was still, because of the surgery, you know, there was a psychological impact. And when he went there, his blood pressure shot up uh, in the hospital in Canada. And they, they were equipped in dealing with that psychological uh, aspect and calming it down. Uh, did it for us because we also had someone to speak to through the entire incident. Um, another psychological impact was, you know, we used to have actually we used to have nightmares. I came back to Bombay. I, I didn't get sleep. I, I was working here. I came back to my shoot after a month from there. I left my wife and my son, and he was being treated there. And I used to get all of one hour of sleep uh, at the night, and it was hell for me. But that's something that I guess every parent has to deal with. And eventually, I don't even know if. I need, I need to, I need counseling after this. So I, I really need, I feel that India needs more units in hospitals. I think they are starting that right now, it's in the infancy. They have a field abroad which is psychosocial oncology which deals with, uh, you know, attending with counseling sessions for parents and for, uh, even for youngsters. So it has had a deep psychological impact, so something that I fully don't understand yet. I don't know the psychological impact that it's had. And as far as the cost goes, of course, you know, my family could deal with it, but there is this huge problem, surmounting problem that you see in real India, in rural India. Because I've got so much fan mail on Twitter and on my mail after the book was written. That generally the cases are there's a late diagnosis, there's no you know, there's no awareness there, there's illiteracy, uh, they don't understand what cancer is, there are, there are, there are social stigmas there. And uh, when they find the cancer, it is so expensive that uh, it's untreatable. And they can't do it at, the, at that in the group. But now I believe there's metronomics, metronomics which has started off in, in India, which is again making it extremely uh, uh, approachable, a uh, few hundred rupees for a treatment of in an entire month, which is uh, a paradigm shift. I think uh, it's really set the standard for India and uh, the cost of here. But yeah, costing is again a key issue for that in the group which needs to be added.